Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making homemade lap chong. Now lap chong is a Chinese sausage which is usually made during winters and it also is used during Chinese New Year which means before Chinese New Year starts people at home start making lap chong so that they can use them during Chinese New Year to cook delicious you know meals all right then let's get started i'm going to show you how we make lap chong at home our way i'm going to start by taking first about a kilo and a half of pork if you see the the, the pork that i've taken i've taken almost about 50 40 to 50 percent of it of fat and remaining meats because the fat content in your lap chong will make it more juicy and nice so make sure that's not all meat because if you use all meat what's going to happen is once it all dries up it's going to be really tough to eat but when you have fat content in it the fat will make it nice and juicy so let's get started first cutting these you know pork into small cubes into small pieces all right and once they're done i'll get back to you to show you what's the next ingredient that we need to add to make your wonderful lap chong because this is the season where the lap chong tastes the best and always during you know the winters or before chinese new year we make this lap chong at home as you can see now i finally chopped my meat okay let's first add salt i'm going to add about two teaspoon of salt make sure you put enough salt otherwise your meat is going to spoil salt is the preservative that is used to store these meats for a longer period of time add a sugar now generally Chinese sausages are savory and sweet especially Cantonese sausages are really sweet so sugar is again an important part of the you know ingredient that we need to add so the more sweet you like the more sugar you add i'm going to add about uh, about five to six teaspoon of sugar if you like it sweeter you could add more and sugar as well will be a natural preservative for your meats next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add half or rather just about half a teaspoon of salt bitter now salt bitter is like a tenderizer okay this is how it looks okay so just about uh, just a little bit not too much make sure you don't add too much of salt pitta okay salt pitta what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 5 spice powder 5 spice powder I'll use about a teaspoon and this gives you all the flavor so when you steam it with rice five spice powder that you're using in your lap chong penetrates into the rice and the smell is absolutely divine you must try this adding five spice to your lap chong and then when you steam it with your rice you taste it and see the difference between a regular lap chong and the ones with five spice now what i'm going to add is cooking wine or chinese liquor you could use whiskey you could use you could use brandy whatever you like hard liquor what you can do is just add about 30 ml to 40 ml of liquor or whiskey using whiskey is a better idea i'm using whiskey now whiskey will give you again flavor and it will help you preserve your meat okay so i've added about 40 ml whiskey 40 to 50 ml whiskey 
and I'm going to stir everything together okay and I'm going to leave this now for half an hour before I start filling it in my gachong cases okay all right so see you after half an hour I'm going to now start filling them in these casings see like this If you like my recipe make sure you subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on the like button and share the recipe and also the bell icon so that you get notification about my other recipes when I post them on my channel thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this recipe do try this at home this winter and happy new year bye bye